Hey guys, so bringing you along sort of. So I just um, got done at the chiropractor. I have horrible acid reflux. I was telling him about it and sure enough he cracked my back and it cracked in like six places. And he was like, oh, that's gonna be the one. <laughs> um, so this morning I got up and went to breakfast with my dad. I literally live next to my parents and I just haven't seen them much lately. We've just, life is busy and so my dad was like, I wanna go to breakfast with you. So we met, went to breakfast, and then I came and run errands. And I got to breakfast this morning late because of traffic, because the traffic is horrible. And I'm wearing this bright pink sweatshirt. Like I clearly stick out like a sore thumb. I love this sweatshirt, but I'm, I'm clearly like, look at me, I'm in this bright pink sweatshirt. I'm pregnant. I look pregnant everywhere. My face is starting to puff up and look pregnant. Again, I, I think I said this on Instagram. I don't have blood pressure issues. It's literally just like that pregnancy puff that women get. My blood pressure's like perfect. Um, I, I just look pregnant. And so I like waddle the booth and I sit down and I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. <laughs> so the server comes up and she goes, can I get you something to drink? And I said, can I get a water and a coffee? And she goes, decaf? I just stood there and I said, no. And my dad had to turn away to keep from laughing. A simple Google search will tell you how much caffeine pregnant women can have. Don't stand between a pregnant woman and her caffeine. Not today, okay? Not today. Okay, so camera died. <laughs> Thought I brought the other battery, but I definitely did not. So yeah, I just, I was so frustrated because it was just, you could tell she was judging me so hard for asking for coffee. The coffee cups at this place were like this big. My dad had to like turn his face away and like face the wall because he was laughing so hard and he was like trying to like belly laugh it and like not laugh out loud because my face needed some serious Jesus in that moment. Like stop telling pregnant women or judging pregnant women and just like insinuating that they should do one thing. Like it's fine for me to have a little bit of caffeine and I always drink the like significantly less than the recommended amount. The cup was literally this big. So I just, that was definitely a way to start the day was to get judged because I asked for caffeinated coffee at a breakfast place with my dad, but it was so good to have breakfast with my dad. Um, so now I'm gonna run to Walmart and then gotta go home. We don't have a ton of stuff to do today and actually not a lot of stuff to do tomorrow. Saturday's gonna be crazy because my baby shower is on Sunday. And so we actually like want to get the house kind of organized and ready. And I've told you guys, um, we've been like organizing the nursery in stages so that we can have this baby shower, get all the stuff in and it's not like everything crammed together and we're doing it all at once. Um, and the nursery's kind of at a standstill right now. So we wanna go ahead and get some of the other stuff out of the house purged. We wanna go ahead and deep clean. I feel like I've been saying that for weeks and I feel like every time I turn around, I like want to clean something else and I still keep throwing things away. Like we'll clean out the full hall closet. I'll think it looks so good and then two weeks will go by and I'll be like, no, we need to purge more stuff. We need to get rid of more stuff. But thankfully Sam and I both are like, we don't attach to stuff very easily, um, if at all. Like there are very few things in our home that we have collectively that we are attached to. Um, so with that being said, it is very easy to just be like, hey honey, can you get rid of this? Can we go take this to the dump? Can you take this to the landfill? Can we burn this? Can we blah, blah, blah? He's always like, yes, 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 yes. So uh, that's kind of what's gonna be happening this weekend. I'm gonna try, I think this will be my baby shower vlog. I don't know, it might break up into two parts, depends on how much I vlog this weekend. So I'm just, Super excited to see my friends and family, but I don't know. I just am also like a little bit anxious about just being around that many people for the first time in a long time. Um, except for at Ellie's wedding. My friend's wedding last week was great. There was like 300 people there. Um, so I'm excited, but I need to go grocery shopping. The list is... So long. So long. I don't want to do it. The aftermath. Clothes go in that bag. We're trying to organize through it. This is crazy. So we've got just stuff literally everywhere. But my shower was the best. I brought my camera, didn't pull it out once because I think you should still spend time with your family and the people that are around you. And I've said like so many times I'm divorced influencer for doing that, but I don't even regret it. Look at that, let me show them. Someone got the baby a rattle thing and she, and she even told me after she said, 
I got this for because um, you work out. So cute. Uh, but I'm so tired. Oh, he just kicked me in the ribs. Um, it has been an exhausting day, so I'm gonna help Sam now. But the aftermath of this shower is crazy. It was the best, best day. Like, so good. Sam came for, what, what'd you come? Three o'clock? It's about an hour into it. And I oh, was there. Your brothers and dad came and- It was not rewrapped. Hey, just... you okay, good. Your brothers and dad came at like- They just came to clean up. They came what, about 20 minutes after it ended? And then after they got there, it kind of started moving and cleaning up and um, it was just the best. But we kind of got to get where we're at, so I'm gonna put the camera down. Okay, so this little diaper cake, we've already kind of started taking it apart. My sister-in-law made it with so freaking cute. My mom knows what size they are, um, but it has like clothes inside of it. And it also has a bottle of wine down in there, like one of my favorites for when I, after I have the baby. So this is like the best. Stuff is everywhere. Literally everywhere. So I'm changing this. Hey friends, so, okay, wanted to play you guys in on a couple things that have been going on. Um, I fully had plans of vlogging a lot more last night, but it's hard to, it's hard to explain. So everything's okay with me and, me and the baby, but we wound up in the hospital last night and it's, it's literally my job to show up and to talk to you guys and to share content, do things. It, it's my job now, it's full time. And you know, people wanna act like it is just, just social media and it's this thing you can take a break from and it is but it's also my job so just like how i would have to tell a boss if i'm not coming in i have to tell you guys and there's this hard it's this hard kind of thing i'm trying to learn becoming a mom um on how i'm gonna handle these situations last night we wound up in the hospital and i'm okay baby's okay um I just shared it on Instagram. I'm not gonna be, so, so I'm trying to upload Instagram stories. I don't want to share what we wound up in the hospital with because it never fails. And I've told you guys this so many times and nine times out of 10, it's so sweet and the messages are helpful and kind and respectful, but you do get those one off messages that just ruin it. And so I don't wanna share what went on that led us to the hospital visit last night. Um, because you do just get those people who trauma dump and don't respect that your mental health can't handle hearing, you know, oh, this happened to me and this happened because of that and it could be horrific. So while being vague, and I like hate when people do that, I do just wanna share that last night we had um, a little bit of a scare and it was, you know, it, most terrifying like three and a half hours of my life. But the good news is, is they treat anything 
that goes on with a pregnant person, similar to how they treat heart issues at the hospital. Everything moves at warp speed. No one was dragging their feet. No one was wasting time. So we got to the hospital quick, got up to labor and delivery quick, saw the ER doctor quick. Um, and we were sent home about one o'clock. So Sam's at work today. I'm going to be doing laundry around the house and um, just trying to organize, but also kind of take a breather. Guys, this should go up tomorrow, same time, because I think I'll be, you know, okay, hopefully to post, but kind of like wanted to share without really sharing that I just, this vlog ended up being a total flop <laughs> because I, um, we wound up in the hospital. So that's really what I have to say about that. Um, and I, I do want to thank you guys that do respect my wishes. And I, you know, I know that when you invest in someone's life an influencer and, and you follow them, you feel like you're a part of their life and it's hard to kind of hear these vague things, but, um, but he's, he actually has hiccups right now. So he's, he's good in my belly where he's safe in there. That's really what I have to say about that. And I wish this vlog would have been more eventful, but I'm glad that it was not more eventful because we just had other things to focus on. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.